Cheryl, did you leave the door unlocked again? I don't think so. Well, then how did this person get in here? Cute outfit, though. Oh, it's Bella Parker. This is too rich. Hello. <laughs> I'm Stella. This is Daria and Cheryl. We see you've gotten quite comfy on our couch. Hi. I, I'm so sorry. I, I fell asleep. Oh, it's been a long morning. Not to be, like, rude, but what are you doing here? Oh, I thought they told you. I'm your new roommate and teammate. I hope that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. You're not our first. First what? New, new roommate. roommate. Let's see. First there was Sloane. She left after the first day because she said she wanted a low-stress high school experience. Lucky us. She left all her sweets behind. Then there was Lindsay. She got cut after our first check-in. That was a rough one. I don't know how she thought she could pass off vintage Chanel as her own. As if no one would notice. So I'm the third person to live in this room this semester. Yikes. Yeah, sometimes we wonder if that room is, like, cursed. Anyway, let's get our French toast fry up on. I'm getting hangry. Thank you. Of course, it's tea time. Now, time to spill yours. Huh? Spill the tea. Or, you know, tell us how you got unexpelled from Rainbow High. Uh, well, the story is actually... Bella, I'm so sorry you don't get a room with your friends. I'm here if you need to talk. Or if you want to check out the new accessories at the Rainbow Union, or... Why are you interrupting her when she was about to... I think it's so good you get to have a fresh start. And we could definitely use an art director. As long as you're done being a baddie. I'll never break a rule again. Cross my heart and hope to fry. <laughs> Well, there's nothing like a good scandal. Like the time Prince Daryl and I got lost sailing my mega yacht around the Balkans. Is it true Miss Wright let you back in because you saved her cat from a burning tree? I heard you took a law class and found a loophole in the Rainbow High Robo. You and know, everyone in the cosmetology department says you aren't even the real Bella. You're just her lookalike with a great wig. Okay, all of that stuff is Crazy. Then tell us how you did get back in. I need some inspo for a new song I'm writing, and this drama is perfection. Well, it was so... Tell me about your group. How did your runway project go? I'm excited to meet the rest of the team. It went awesome. Well, except now Gabriella is upset with Emmy about missing her cue. And the fact that Miss Wright pointed it out in our eval. But I think we just need to chill. It could have been way worse. Oh, yes. One team set fell apart and they all got cut. Anyway, Bella, before you were saying... <laughs> Okay, I would appreciate some calm vibes right now, so, like, please try and maintain. <gasps> Cheryl, did you mix Stella's whole hot pink closet with everyone else's? This is totally not my fault! <laughs> Stella, be serious! <laughs> Come on, the more hot pink, the better! You'll see when you are... Uh, wait a sec! Is that my lipstick that's ruined? That was my limited edition forever fuchsia! It's been discontinued! <laughs> We're lucky you're not evaluated on laundry. Ouch. That was way harsh, Daria. I'm gonna head out and let you guys sort this all out. Cool? All first years who are upset and in need of a feelings and fashion session in the aftermath of the runway evaluations, please report to room 303 to see Miss Morton. All upset first years in need of feelings and fashion, please report to room 303 to see Miss Morton. Can you believe a Maya and River are official? Of course I can. You're the one who told River they were a match. I know. I just love when I'm right. What I can't believe is that the Devious family bought a ski lodge. I'm gonna get the scene an exclusive. I heard Jet Dawson is back. She just flew in from Japan. Well, I heard Poppy Roan is DJing a theater party this week. I wonder if I can get an invite. <gasps> oh my gosh, there she is. It is 
so nice to finally meet the infamous Bella Parker in person. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm infamous. Shh, shh. Oh, no. You are. Okay. I'm Laurel. <laughs> this is my sister, Holly. We're big fans, and we look forward to uh, seeing more of you. Click, click. click. Hey, Bella, I just wanted to say... Not I... today, Colin. Hey, Bella, Crystal Bailey, lead editor of The Scene. I would love an exclusive interview about your return to Rainbow High. Um, <laughs> uh, I'll think about it. And I... I'm Kaya Hart, a.k.a. head matchmaker at Heart Matches. I match everything from clothes to friends to soulmates. Hey! How about you and that Colin guy? Colin? Never. I... You can rehabilitate your images together. Think about the interview. Hey, Bella. Let us know if you need anything to get back into the swing. We're here for you. You can borrow my Rainbow High rulebook. I wrote notes in the margins. Hey, Bella, right? You know my name? I am such a huge fan of Content with Karma, and your style guides are like my fashion Bibles. Oh, I love that. And I'm sure everyone's asking you how you got unexpelled, but I would love to have you come on my show to tell your story your way. Wow, thank you. But I actually... Think about it. <laughs> See you around. <sighs> oh, back where I belong. Finally. Guys, is everything okay? Yes! No! Yes. Sunny, Poppy, and Ruby went to Ainsley's fashion closet without us! Since when does Ainsley do fashion? Exactly! There was a huge rumor that she's trying for a double focus in accessory design and fashion. We've all been dying to see what she's up to! Yeah, and it really hurt that some of us weren't included. Week. We don't have to do everything together. Not everything, but it would have been nice. Okay, what is going on with this music? Isn't it great? Our rehearsal space is under construction, so everyone's allowed to practice in their rooms. Can we please stop fighting and enjoy? No way. Let me get this straight. We ace our first runway project as a team. Then you take the first opportunity you get to ditch some of us? Oh, but it's not true, Vi. Yes, it is! Are you kidding me? Excuse me, can you please stop being so loud till we're done being loud? I'm gonna go. If you guys see Jade, tell her. Never mind. I'll text her. Whoa! <laughs> then turn it down! Aww. Now, where were we? The truth is, Ainsley invited us to see her work because we're not fashion focuses. She hasn't even shown her designs to Avery, and, and, and they're like best friends. Showing new designs is hard, especially when you're just getting started. Sorry, maybe we did overreact. So, we're all good? Mm hmm No, it's not about her. It's about us, Sunny. You should have asked her to invite me, even if she said no. That's what best friends do. Oh, but it's like what you said on the first day of school. If we split up, then it's more friends for us both. You're just gonna throw that in my face? Huh? And throwing what where? That I'm a terrible friend. I didn't say that. But you do feel it, don't you? Admit it. No! <gasps> you won't admit it? You do think I'm a terrible friend. Oh. 
looks like I missed some drama. Drama mixed with loud music, mixed with a whole lot of what just happened? Hey, cool off my skis! Yeah, they came for you in the mail. Why are they mismatched? Oh, cause Vi and I swapped one ski each to make us the ski swap besties! These are mine. Or, ooh, maybe they're hers? I'll go ask. <sighs> Wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, has anyone seen Bella? She's been blowing up our group chat. Yeah, she's right... Oh. Where'd she go? <laughs> Trespassing much? Oh, no. Sorry. It was open and I needed a quiet place to think. I can leave. It's okay. Stay. What's up? Thanks. I don't know what changed. Rainbow High, or my friends, or me. Probably all three. I know how you feel. I'm having drama with a friend, too. Ainsley? She's stressed about adding a second focus in fashion and wants to do it all on her own. She's totally shutting me out. I know Rainbow High is all about glam, but sometimes I feel it's more like grit, love, action, moxie, and pressure. Glamp. <laughs> glamp? <laughs> I feel that. Hey, wanna blow off some of that steam? Let's get out of here. It's never just one fry, Vi! I'm sorry. I feel terrible that I went behind your back about rooming together. Even worse, that we never talked about it. Well, we're talking now. And yeah, it really hurt my feelings. At first. Then I realized you were right! Look how many amazing friends we've made! I think living apart has made our friendship stronger than ever! You really think so? Yeah! I mean, if you're not still mad about the Ainsley's closet thing... I'm not mad anymore. I guess I'm just jealous. Then I can tell you all about it, in detail. I'll even draw pictures. Thanks, Sunny. Your skis! Wait, or are they my skis? Uh, I'm not sure. My mom sent them. Well, the Ski Swap Besties rules state, I leave my skis at your house, and you leave yours at my house. So they must be mine. And I'll have my mom send yours. Then we can go skiing together. Aww. It's a ski swap besties deal. What's up? Why are you all smiles? I made up with Sunny. Lucky. I think Bella's mad at me. What? No way. I'm sure you guys will hang soon. Want to take the pressure out of glam? You know where to find me. Thank you. Is it really? It's true. No way. Attention, 
the world is Jet Dawson? More like where in the world is Jet Dawson? She's a fourth year, but she's been gone the last two months for a textile internship. <laughs> she was studying the fabrics of Asia and got to go to China, Nepal, and Japan. Um, I'm obsessed with textile technology and I would literally die to go to those places. Wow. I mean, who doesn't love all that? Love? Sure. Appreciate? <laughs> I heard in Nepal she had to climb a mountain every day to and from her internship. I heard she keeps all her best fabrics two stories underground in an air-purified vault. I heard they're making a movie about how she almost lost her stitching hand to a booby trap while she was helping protect an ancient fabric loom. Well, I know for a fact she also squeezed in a visit to an island in the Philippines where they make fabric from a rare form of bamboo. My sister's friend's cousin is step cousins with her. So cool. I heard Jet is talking to the art of fashion first years today. <gasps> oh, what? Show us. There. I get to be in the same room with her all day. Uh, so do we. So cool. Aww. Wow, super surreal to be up here. <sighs> it's crazy to think that only a few years ago, I was sitting where you are as a first year. <laughs> but I've come a long way since then. Welcome to the art of fashion. I'm Jet Dawson, <gasps> AKA queen of the quick change. <laughs> this year, I've been traveling and studying all things fabric. Fabric creates art that doesn't just live statically in a museum. Fashion. Fashion is meant to be seen by the world. And with every new outfit, we can make ourselves into living art, no matter what we're wearing. Totally wow, right? So cool. So, what do you say? Ready to make some fashion magic? I brought a bunch of different fabrics. Your mission is to layer the fabric to plus up this plain piece into utter couture. Quality materials. Make bold choices. All about craftsmanship. And how's it going here? Huh? Oops, didn't mean to mess with your flow. Oh, I didn't realize you were... Um, I'm done. Wow, that was fast. Can I take a look? Amaya's done already? Mm. I like your work with texture and color, but... To be honest, it looks like you did it fast. Yeah, working crazy fast is kind of my thing. When I get inspired, I want to make sure I get all of my creativity out before it, uh, disappears. You know, one day, I got to shadow this amazing brocade artisan in China. And can you believe she only weaves a centimeter a day? Wow, that's slow. Let the quality of work match the quality of the fabric. Let the craftsmanship shine. The stitching is a bit sloppy. The layering isn't blending the way I wanted it to. <sighs> Maybe I should just start over. Why do you feel like you always have to work so fast, Amaya? I guess maybe waitlist kids are always rushing to play catch up. You know what, Gabriella? Focus on your own work. Let the craftsmanship shine. Ooh, I love what I'm seeing. Can I get a little sneak peek? Wow, look 
at all the layers. How much time did you spend ironing these? I really took my time with them. The pleats remind me of Chinese hand fans. Love it. Wow. Amaya, you really took my notes to heart. Tell me about it. I realized my stitching was rushed before. So I decided to take my time and make it stand out. I even used some special shimmer thread I splurged on at Muse Fabric Sample Sale. The gold accents make your craftsmanship literally shine. You know, it kind of reminds me of the Japanese art of kintsugi, where artists repair broken dishes by filling in the cracks with gold to make them stand out. Yes, that's what I was going for. I just think it's a beautiful way to pick something other people may have just thrown out. I love that. And this skirt. It's art. It's fashion. It's just so cool. Yeah, what she said. Oh, thank you. Both of you. And I love Muse Fabric. I even worked there when I was on the wait list to get into Rainbow High. Ooh, you did? Wait, you were on the wait list? Yeah, and my time on the wait list taught me to never give up. It basically put grit in my glam. <laughs> of you are writing your first articles for the scene. Exciting! Get them right, and I might just make you regular contributors. Karma, I want you to interview Jet Dawson about her textile internship. Yes! I just know Jet and I are gonna vibe. And I will get all the deets about whether she's really dating that British pop star. Mm-hmm. And Violet, you're going to cover the history of the Rainbow High Crest. Cool! And the crest is... what? Where did the crest come from? What does it stand for? So more like history? Yay! I know you can make it exciting. Whoa, Miss Wright! Is that a school crest pin? Where did you get it? The crest pin is earned. Not simply gotten. Okay, but I'm trying to write an article for the scene about it, so is there anything else you can tell me? It's best if you seek the answers for yourself. Might I recommend a visit to the Rainbow High Archive? We have an archive? That sounds old, and I need old. Where is it? It is said that it hides in plain sight, but only those who seek it will ever see the light. Details that are more detail-y or like a map. <laughs> Every Rainbow High student has the map that tells you where to start, but being ready for the journey is the most important part. And then she just left the room. So weird, so cryptic. I have no idea what I'm supposed to write about this thing or where to find this map that every Rainbow High student has. Wait a sec. If I'm remembering right, the student rule book has a map right here. Now, archive. There's nothing marked archive. Hmm. Miss Wright said it would say where to start. So maybe by the unicorn, where it says start here? Woo! There's also a drawing of a rainbow! Cute! Uh, can I come with you? Please! It will be like an adventure movie! Of course! Two friends on? The best friend, best quest ever! Hmm. No buttons or carvings or secret hatches. Sunny, what are you doing? There's always more than meets the eye. Oh, I have always wanted to hang from there like that. Daphne, hey, you know a lot about gems and stuff, right? I mean, I do host a podcast about semi-precious stones called Let's Rock. What do you know about the unicorn statue? Not much to know, but look what happens when light hits the angles just right. A rainbow effect! It's so magical! Just like the drawing on the map! You are a lifesaver! I love that you're so into it! Let me know if you need anything else. 
Or if you ever want to chat about how underrated turquoise is. These don't lead anywhere. We just need more light. Like... <gasps> And good timing. That's like, right? No! This is a, 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 a totally normal room. There's a crest on this door. Maybe it leads somewhere? Maybe a secret room, or a secret passage, or a secret hair dryer. It's like when we were little and I would send you secret messages drawn in invisible ink! Need reactive invisible ink! Yes! All that was on the paper this whole time. It looks like there's a secret room! <laughs> I've always dreamed of finding a secret room! Literally! I have a recurring dream about it! No secret room, just a bunch of lockers. The secret room must be behind one. Look at the map. All that's left is a riddle. What colors are every color? White is all the colors. Pick the white locker. <laughs> colors instead of numbers. Wait. Every color starts with the primaries. Red, blue, yellow. You can go first. Maybe we go together? Crest is a baby crest. It's a pin. Just like Miss Wright was wearing. That's right. <gasps> Congratulations, girls. You're the first of your class to find your way to the Rainbow High Archive. It opens. Glam is inside the Rainbow High Crest? What does that even mean? We're at the archives, aren't we? Let's find out. Historically, the outside of the crest represents the craft of every Rainbow High student. But at Rainbow High, there's always more than meets the eye. Everyone here makes beautiful and unique art that is seen on the outside. But to be chosen to represent the Rainbow High crest, you must also embody glam virtues on the inside. There is a prize at the end of the Rainbow High archives. But where are the archives? What is the prize? Here's your start. Find the map that every student has. Great work on your crest article, Violet. We all have the student rule book, but most of us didn't give it a second look. Thanks. I couldn't have done it without my friends. Teamwork is really important to being a journalist. So, what do you say? Want to write for the scene? Well, it might interfere with my schedule for the Vi Life, but... Hey, we on for lunch? I packed extra croissants. Ahem. <clears throat> Cue, follow spot, and wind. Attention, Rainbow High! Holly and I have an announcement! Hold your applause for the end. Laurel and I are hosting auditions for a new play. Written by us. Directed by us. And starring us. We are true triple threats. You do not have to be an acting focus to audition. And our co-leads will need to know how to ice skate. We will have real fake ice on stage. A rainbow high first. And for all of you 
poor souls who lack acting bones, there are other, lesser ways to get involved in this piece of history. Sets and makeup, sound design. But heads up, some stuff we've already promised to friends. For example, I will be leading the lighting crew. We said we would consider it! So, sign up to audition or do behind the scenes stuff. But don't try to do both. And you better make sure you're serious, because if you bail, we will cancel you. Well, count me in for stage makeup. For sure. And Emmy, we should team up for sets. I've always wanted to work with real fake ice. Wait, isn't it fake real ice? Is that even a real thing? Sounds like a real fake thing. So as an acting focus, you audition for every show, right? Yep, and this show should be fun. The twins have been talking about it for months. I'm sure you'll cut apart, and I'm gonna sign up to do costumes. Do it. If I get cast, it'll be so rad to work on the same project. Plus, it means we'd get to hang out more. <laughs> I'm impressed you all signed up for the twins play. Call me if you need moral support. Yes, I'm in for stage makeup. And I'm in uh, to audition at 4 p.m.? You have to audition for the costume department? Which list did you sign up on? There was more than one list. Yeah, the behind the scenes list and the audition list. Oh no, 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 no. It's probably not a big deal. Yeah. Just go explain your mistake to Holly and Laurel. I'm sure they'll move you over to costumes. Totally. No problem. I'll talk to them. <laughs> oh, but like, how intense are they? All right, thespians, focus up. The script is the script. Read every line as is. There is a reason our names are on it as writers and not yours. Wait, is it my line? You're the only one on stage. No! Why did I make that deal with those super beautiful but mischievous enchantresses? I always had a crush on you. <laughs> Smells like hot cocoa, fancy hot cocoa. I need pain, darkness. Dig deep. No! Why did I make that deal? Stella, just talk like you normally do. The accent is fine. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> I wish I could ice skate. <laughs> Wait, how do I normally sound? Wait, why, why? Wait, this whole show is basically one big ad, and it's not even a musical. I am so out of here. Okay. Smells like hot cocoa. Fancy hot cocoa. She takes a deep breath in and reaches for a cup. This time, say the line to me. I always had a crush on you. <laughs> now again, but to me. I always had a crush on you. <laughs> um, do you have any direction? Or do you want me to do it again? No, that was perfection. <laughs> Uh, Holly and Laurel? I'm late, we know. It's 401. Hey, I know you. You're dating River, right? Yeah, I'm Amaya. And I'm actually a fashion student, and I didn't mean to sign up to audition. I. Oh. I see. We, we totally, totally understand. understand. I, I put my name on that list because I thought River was gonna get cast opposite some other girl and end up falling in love with her. So even though you're not a performing arts focus, you are going to audition anyway. Oh no, I, I look. You don't have to be scared to audition. Laurel and I are amazing directors. If there's raw talent, we can make an actor out of anyone, even you. The jealous girlfriend. I am not jealous. Georgia gave a really good audition, didn't she, Holly? She sure did. That's great. 
Georgia should get the role. She's a really great actress. Plus, she and River work well together. Wow, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I almost believed you. <laughs> we'll let you know. We, we are, are amazing. amazing. Ice skater too! Yay! Can't really ice skate! I'm not even gonna look! Can you just let me know if they put me in costumes or not? Hey, I got the lead! And Amaya, you uh got a roll. What? Pointer person? How is that even possible? Why don't you work on that pointing? Winter break at the Sparkle Sisters Ski Lodge is gonna be epic. Breathe it in. Smells like hot cocoa. Fancy hot cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna go outside and ice skate? I do, especially with you. But I don't know how. If only I could stop time to practice ice skating until I became the best ice skater in the entire world. Oh well. Oh well. <clears throat> oh, well. Um, wine? Cut! How is it possible that after weeks of rehearsal with the play days away, you're still forgetting your one line? Hey, everyone. The real fake ice is here. Can someone help Emmy and me bring it in? There's a lot of pieces. You really think you're going to get the writer, director, producer, stars of the show to drop what they're doing and help you with your job? Attention, everyone! Who are you? I'm Gabriella. I work with Jet on costumes. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm important. No, you're not. We need Poppy and Sunny for fittings. Ooh, I can't believe <laughs> All right, amateurs. Take five and get your acts together. It's like I look at the page and know the line, then I go to say it and whoosh, it's a race for my brain. Classic overthinking. Here, I'll help. I'll say your line, then you say your line until you've got it. Then I'll say George's line, but you keep saying your line, okay? Okay. Psst, this way? Psst, this way? Psst, this way! This way! If only I could stop time to practice ice skating until I became the best ice skater in the entire world. Oh well. If only something, something. Oh well? No. Psst. This way. Ugh. Jade, how did you just say George's line word for word like that? I don't know. I'm at every rehearsal. I kind of just know all the lines now. That's incredible. You're like a dialogue sponge. Thanks. <laughs> Let's get back to running my line. Jet, these costumes are gorgeous! Thanks. I'm obsessed with using heat tech on couture fashion. So, so cool! Poppy, Sunny, your ice skates. What do you think? I know I always say this, but these are my sickest looks ever. <clears throat> Fellow thespians, we are about to embark on the greatest, most noble, and worthy cause known to humankind. Acting. So don't mess up. We have a big problem. I have laryngitis. Why? Project your voice, Georgia. Georgia has laryngitis. <gasps> How? Who did this to you? You. You did this? You sabotaged her so she can't kiss River. Me? No way. I would never do that. I would be impressed if I wasn't so peeved. Our play is ruined. Assistant, bring me a pillow so I can scream and do it. Oh, I know someone who could play the role. If this person is you, Amaya, I will need two pillows. 
one to scream into and one to whack you with! Not me! Someone who knows every line! Really? And can this person ice skate? No! Oh, um... This play is called A Winter Tale of Two Super Beautiful Enchantresses? <laughs> That's rich. Written, directed, and starring Laurel and Holly Devious. Or is it pronounced Devious? It's Devious, duh! Does anyone mind if I film this? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Winter break at the Sparkle Sister Ski Lodge is gonna be epic. Breathe it in. <gasps> Smells like hot cocoa. Fancy hot cocoa. If only I could stop time to practice ice skating until I became the best ice skater in the entire world. Oh well. Psst, this way! Take these ice skates, put them on, and your wish will come true. Wow, when the commercial said the Sparkle Sister Ski Lodge was magical, they were for real. Once she puts on those ice skates, time will stop for her forever. The only way to break the spell and make time start again is with a crush's kiss. <laughs> is it really you? I can't believe it. Hi! Come skate! I just got on the ice! You've been missing for five whole years. What? How is this possible? <gasps> My ice skates! I think they stopped time! I should never have taken them from those two super beautiful, mischievous enchantresses! Maybe I can help break the spell? I always had a crush on you. Really? I have a crush on you too. Isn't Amaya great? Yes, oh, Amaya. So good, Jade. You are the star of the show. And you ice skate? Hashtag twist. Oh, I never told you I was a competitive figure skater as a kid. What? Jade, seriously? So cool? Nah, that's no big deal. But Laurel and Holly's makeup? No, that was epic. <laughs> <laughs> Ruby, you've been drooling over those new sneakers at the Rainbow Union for weeks. Why don't you go down and see them in person? If I go see them, I know I'm going to want to buy them. And my bank account says that's a no-go. You know, I saw a Help Wanted sign outside of the Union. You could get some extra cash. Plus, I heard Kaya Hart say she gets a sweet discount. Thought I could help. The Union has the best ooey gooey croissants I've ever had in my life. <sighs> hey, Emmy. Here's your usual. One rainbow latte and one fresh water for your paintbrushes. Thanks, Kaya. That girl has more paintbrushes than Michelangelo. I don't even know where she keeps half of them. Wow. Anyway, Ruby Anderson, I was just thinking about you this morning. You and Daphne Minton would be a great match to craft together. I saw some of your screen printing work and it would go perfectly with her new bag line. Oh, that's tight. Thanks for the rack. Of course. Now, what can I get you? A mineral water and a hummus rub? No, <laughs> I'm here because I heard you're hiring. Ah, you saw my sign. I did. So, um, how do I apply? Honestly, I'm thrilled you came by. I had to let a server go because he was giving his friends croissants for free. And I don't do freebies, unless you pay for them. Got it, no freebies. Here, let me help. Oh, 
Thank you. What you put in it? It's extra honey to help with your laryngitis. All right, Anderson. Let's do a test run today and see if you're a match. Fire! I won't let you down! The Rainbow Union is so much more than a cafe and school store. A lot goes down here. We'll get to all that, but first, we have to talk about the most important part of working here. This is serious. Are you ready? Let's see it. Uh, I don't know about this. I've seen worse. Just give me a few more tries. You can practice our signature rainbow swirl later. For now, drop these drinks off to the Devious Twins. Do I seem like the type of person who would order a hot almond milk cinnamon latte with two pumps of caramel? Oh, I, whatever this is, it's offensive. And I don't want myself or my sister to look at it anymore. I'm so sorry. It's canceled. Holly, start a hashtag. That'll be $50,000. I know I'm not great with American money, <laughs> but that can't be right. Oh, I'm sorry. I mm, I totally didn't mean that. I meant 50 cents. Wait. Hey, you can't buy those. I mean, did you see the stilettos that just came in? <laughs> they would totally complete your outfit. <laughs> Hans Harvard has been my crush since I was like seven years old. He isn't just any brilliant, handsome Alaskan bajillionaire. He is my brilliant, handsome Alaskan bajillionaire. How am I supposed to get his attention from so far away? I've never heard you talk about anyone like this before, Gab. I always just assumed you had lukewarm feelings for everyone. Everyone but him. Speaking of lukewarm, my hot tea is almost ice cold. Service here has really gone downhill in recent hours. Well, my friends, I don't think we were meant to be. And you're sweeter than a lilac, sweeter than a sugar snack. <laughs> and you're sweeter than a lilac, sweeter than a sugar snack. Give me some love and I'll give you all my back. Ruby, you're whistling. Oh, so sorry. It's just the inspo I needed. Thank you. Hmm. Emmy, I put your latte where I should have put your water. I'll, I'll get you a fresh one. No, this is perfect. The color and the texture of the latte are exactly what I was missing. The customer's always right. Oh, next time you're back home in Alaska, you could happen to run into him. You know, I read Hans Harvard is a huge climate activist. Yeah, everyone knows that. Maybe you could work on special uniforms for his team. Something that shows off your fashion tech genius and bomb sense of style. That isn't a terrible idea. <gasps> He's right. I'm so sorry. <gasps> you are so lucky that was an iced drink. First years are so careless. We were wondering whether they should be allowed to be around the rest of the student body at all. Hey, Ruby, you're done. Thanks for giving me a try. It was a really cool experience. Ruby, you're done for the day. Don't be so hard on yourself. You got the job. But I messed up so much. How could you hire me? It was your first day. Plus, it took me almost a year to get the rainbow swirl right. You're just saying that to make me feel better. Trust me, I'm not. You're a natural at connecting with customers. And the rest you will learn as you go. So, what do you say? I'd love to work here. Then we're a match. You're hired. Welcome to the Rainbow Union. And you've got one more table. I thought you said I was done. They requested you specifically. Surprise! You did it! Okay, you did it! Aw, thanks, guys. Um, wow. this croissant oh, is life-changing. 
Friday night after you left. There was this crazy big thunderstorm. I was already feeling on edge because the day before, Miss Wright had announced our next huge project. Rainbow, Rainbow High, High Radiant, Radiant Week. But she wouldn't give us any details. I wish we could get a head start. Radiant Week is making me feel really uneasy. Laurel, I was randomly thinking about that student who had that total meltdown during the most important project of our entire first year at Rainbow High. You mean Radiant Week? Yes. Remember how the stress got to them? They roamed the halls like a ghost, scaring first years in the dead of night. Oh, that's right. And is it Radiant Week happening again this year? Oh, yeah. That's probably why I was thinking about it. Hi, Holly, Laurel. I heard you talking about Radiant Week. And oh, no. You overheard us? Ugh. You must be so scared of the ghosts now. <laughs> no, I mean, ghosts aren't real. That's, That's what, what we, we thought. Okay. But what I wanted to ask is if you have any advice for someone who wants to get a head start on their project. Hmm. Since it's a different theme every time, I'd say the more ideas you have, the more you'll be ready. I'd start work right away. Tonight. To avoid disaster. I wasn't sure where to start, but it made me feel better to get to work, until... Hello? Is anyone out there? Ah! Ah! Rihanna! What's going on? Oh, sorry if I scared you. I just installed this locker fan to give my hair that blowing in the wind vibe, but I think I broke the off button. <laughs> See ya! <sighs> what? What happened to my fabric? I left for like a second, and all my fabric had disappeared. It doesn't make any sense, P. Sky, you sound like you're overworking yourself. Forget about Radiant Week for now. We all have enough going on already. would do this to our treasured mascot. <gasps> Don't just stand there. Fix this. What does Wapner even mean? I believe you now. I think that the first year who turned into a ghost is back, haunting everyone at Rainbow High. This is the only logical explanation. We need to find them. Meet us here at nine tonight. We're going to the, the dark, dark side, side of Rainbow, Rainbow High. You're gonna need backup. I'll come with. If only I knew what was gonna happen, I never, ever would have let Poppy come with me. It's after nine. Where are they? Maybe they forgot? We, we never, never forget. forget. Never, ever, ever forget. Follow us. You lead the way. 
Record everything. Let's post this ghost. Why are the lights flickering? I I heard the lighting design class is doing a project on flickering lights. A plus job, guys. Ah! Oh no! Look, a monster! <laughs> oh, it's a kitty cat mural. Okay, stay close. I think something's happening. Guys? Guys? Hello? <gasps> what do you want from me? And what did you do with my friends? <laughs> They're still out there roaming the halls. What are we gonna do, Sonny? We need an adult, Pronto! <laughs> Poppy, you're okay. What's he doing here? Sky, it was him this whole time. Kill her? Fine. It was I, and I alone, who pranked you. <clears throat> okay, fine, maybe I had help. The twins were behind the whole thing. What? But, Poppy, you disappeared. Laurel and Holly pulled me into a classroom and blocked the door. Two against one. Ugh. I was so obsessed with Radiant Week, I fell right into their trap. I feel so ridiculous about that. We have a plan. The legend is true. I am becoming a ghost. Join me. Um, Holly, I, I think I left my purse upstairs. Me too. Move, Laura. Move, move. Where'd you go? Teach me your dark ways. I despised every minute of that charade. And if you ever tell them I helped you, I will cancel you. However, now that we are even, no more ghosts. Right, <laughs> Skylar? Uh, Skylar! <laughs> Where'd she go? Good morning, and welcome to Dream Teamwork Project Day. Fourth years will lead a teams of first years in a number of ambitious projects on this year's docket. It is a true marathon of the arts, as you will only have 12 hours from start to finish. Your kickoff email with group assignment will be sent shortly. And remember, the time limit is strictly enforced. 12 hours? I could spend that long getting one frame of animation drawn just right. Nothing makes my heart raise like a good deadline. We'll make it work. What project are you hoping to get? The music, music video. video. Ah, jinx. jinx. Jinx again. And the clock starts now. Oh, talk about this. Hello, team music video. Ooh, Ooh I am already this getting ideas. Hard to work with. I'm guessing we'll be working together on wardrobe, Gabriella. Vanessa is such a style icon. I really hope we can impress her. Well, I know I can. Ooh, Emmy, I'm so excited to work with you. Your experimental teddy bear art installation gave me nightmares for a week. So creepy cool. Oh, thanks. I can't believe we get to work with Rainbow Dream. Same, but the song is already written. Right? So what is there for music department people like us to do? We get to be hands-on with all the gear for a full music video! Mics, monitors, amps, all the tech stuff! Just think, someday we'll get to say we worked with Rainbow Dream before they hit it big! Hello, our first-year team! You ready to rock the Dream Teamwork Project? AKA the 12-hour countdown! On drums, we have Rhythm Royalty, Vanessa Tempo! On vocals, we have the golden-voiced, Lyric Lucas! And on guitar, it's your favorite star shredder and the recipient of over 15 noise complaints this week alone, me, Carmen Major! And together, we're Rainbow Dream! It's a dream come true. Hi, 
Yay! We're freaking out with excitement and also terrible fear about this countdown. Is one of you directing the project? We decided we don't need to define things like that. We can just collab. Oh, what if we start on a low-key video of us in a dressing room and then we run through the hallways all the way to the stage. And by the time we get to the stage, it's all... Blackout. We're out. And when we get to stage? But that's the best part. We've got to go hardcore with like fog machines and extreme lighting and rocking out. Rocking out on stage? We've never seen that before. But there's a reason it's done all the time. It's classic. And since it's our first video, no one's ever seen us do it. Uh, what do you all think? What about we film all over school? In classrooms, dorm rooms, the union? We could totally use the unicorn in the atrium. I wonder if I'll get suspended if I paint over it. I would love to do a few costume changes. Is 15 too many or too few? These are so golden. Let's meditate on them. Or I brought my laptop and I can typey type while we brainstorm. Now that is like more than gold, platinum. Ooh, let's play with voice effects. And Luxpo for accents. Don't forget a smoke machine. Tick tock, dream teams. That deadline looms closer. Okay. Collaborating is good and all, but maybe. For looming deadline's sake, we split up into groups. Yes, divide and conquer. Gabriella, Sky, you go talk wardrobe with Vanessa, and the rest of us can scout locations, talk sets and such. That's a lot of to use, so let's go do it fast! I love this Captain Sunny energy. Go! I want to make sure the fashions are all sustainable, so I brought in some vintage fabric I thrifted to make into a chill but totally immaculate wardrobe. Yes! Love that. Old fabric? But this has potential. <gasps> this print and the feel! Quality! Right? They don't make it like that anymore. And there's way more where that came from. So then, we pass the phone from person to person. <laughs> we want to look like pros, Lyric, not give people motion sickness from a shaky video. What about a steady cam or one of those big mechanical lifts people use for overhead shots? You mean a crane? I thought they uh, were no, going low key. I don't know what you're talking about. Edgy. This is totally the way to go. And here we are at the halfway mark. Halfway? Are you kidding? We haven't nailed down anything! Fiery face emoji! We need actual decisions made! Stat! Whoops, that's my hangry voice. <laughs> but, come on, we gotta get a move on. Can someone get me a snack? <laughs> so, what do you suggest we do? First, we figure out what's doable. Vanessa, you want wardrobe changes. Gabriella and Skye, how many wardrobe changes can you handle in the next uh, two hours? Hmm, one change. One change if they go from what they're wearing right now to their next look. Great, done. After that, it's action fun time. Emmy, how do you feel about starting with the walkthrough using locations like what Lyric wants, but then you and I create something with extra powy wow zow for the stage portion? I think I can handle Powy Wow Zow. Perfect! Ha! You know it! Poppy and Daria, find the longest cables you can, plus an amp on wheels. On it! Now we have five hours left to make all your dream teamwork project music video dreamy dreams come true, and we're making them come true on time! Deal? Deal. Deal. Time's up. Welcome to our music video. But first, a very special thanks to our crew, and especially our director, Sunny Madison. Without her, you don't want to know. And now, get ready for the epicness of Colors Go Pow! are true. Hmm. 
just go and talk to her. You guys haven't talked in weeks. I know. First she didn't tell me she added a second focus in fashion design, and now she doesn't tell me anything. I thought we were all best friends. So, why don't you go talk to her? Do you want me to talk to her? No, I will. When she talks to me. I'm away playing against Storm Central all weekend. Are you guys gonna be okay? Just the two of you? You focus on the football game. Ainsley and I will be fine. Not amazing, but fine. Do more? Th <sighs> Avery Styles! My, my, my. Robin, it's been so long. We're all too busy, aren't we? Chocolate strawberry. We are oh so glad you could come to our Sleepover Society Saturday slumber party, darling. I had heard the rumors about the Sleepover Society forever, but I can't believe this is really real, and I'm really here. Uh, uh. The Sleepover is a sacred rite shared by friends throughout time. From sea to shining sea, our four friends have made hollow tradition of pillows and secrets and... Uh, uh, what Robin means is stress levels can be completely bonkers at Rainbow High, and our society is here to remind us to have fun. <laughs> this is the time to reconnect as friends, not just classmates. I love that, Brianna. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> it's always nice to make new friends. Two friends! Two, Two friends. friends! Two friends! Ugh, that's good. Now, on to Rose Essence Mask, Slime Packs, and Salty Snacks. Oh, Robin! You added too many scents! Vanilla, mango, grape, banana, oranges! Too much for the nose! It's called a signature scent, and all great actors have them. It's very old school Hollywood. Opens up my sinuses. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's beautiful slime, Ames. Sure, you don't have any feedback? What kind of feedback? It's like something from the twins' play the gorgeous, magic, snow ski, perfect sisters. Or whatever that extra long commercial was called. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you all, but I need a manicure. My cuticles are upset. I love a post-slime mani. Cuticle care is good for the soul. Oh, it's better to do a bigger motion, like this. Uh, there just isn't anything you can't do perfectly, is there? No, I can't understand why you're so mad at me. What's going on with you two? Nothing. Nothing. I haven't seen tension like this since I watched a rat and a pigeon fight over a slice of pizza. That's disgusting. Who won? Oh, it's my favorite sound in the world, the pizza alarm. Time for friendship pizza. We each make a pizza for each other, and we have to eat whatever our friends make for us. I'll make a pizza for Brianna, Brianna for Robin, Robin for me, and oh, you two for each other. Oh, girls, I got the spiciest reveal from Ms. Wright on my photo journal today. She said there wasn't enough raw emotion. That's why I tried to get you to do that crying exercise with me. Acting stuff? A hard pass. You'll regret it when I'm gone. I always so dramatic. You're graduating. It's not like we will never see you again. But how will you go on without me? Please don't start a crying exercise. And what are you putting on my pizza? Chocolate. Because you're sweet. Ugh. Thanks, Rob. Oh, well, I had a rough review this week, too. My work totally stunk. That isn't true. You had the best designs in pattern study. They were not the best. Avery, 
Why haven't you put any toppings on Ainsley's pizza? Oh, Ainsley doesn't like toppings. <laughs> That's not the point. The game is we make the pizza for our friend, and our friend has to eat whatever we made. Do you not think I can handle some pizza toppings? But I'm not up to a challenge. I didn't say that. Yum! I love my friendship pizza! The poor pizza. <coughs> Disgusting. Oh, if you have something to say, Ainsley, just say it. I can't handle a second focus. I'm not good enough to be in fashion. You and the rest of the class have been doing it for years, and I'm always just trying to catch up. You really feel that way? Oh, why didn't you just talk to me about it instead of giving me the silent treatment? How can I talk to you about it? You're the best in our year. You'll never get how hard it is. I get it. You, Ainsley! And since when did schoolwork become more important than our friendship? I'm sorry I didn't let you in. It's because your opinion means the most to me, so it's the one I've been the most afraid of. Well, I'm sorry you felt like you couldn't share something with me because it would put more pressure on you. I never want to be that person with you. Now that's a crying exercise! Ooh! I'm sorry, we kind of ruined the sleepover. <laughs> are you kidding? We knew you two needed this. Sleepovers are made for this. <laughs> That's spicy! Why did you put gumdrops? <laughs> <laughs> Bella, you'll have to let us know if the Sparkle Sister Ski Lodge lives up to the hype. You got it! And don't worry, you can keep tabs on what we're up to by watching the Vi Life Staycation live stream. Bella, time to jet! Bye! I'll talk to you guys soon! Poppy, are you excited to head home? I know I am. Actually, I'm staying here. It's supposed to snow! And I've never seen real snow in person before. That's great, but you were so homesick for the beach. I miss it, but getting to have my first ever snow day with my BFF is gonna be legend! Jet Dawson even said we could wear outfits from the play for ice skating. Aw, I wish I was staying. Send me lots of snow selfies, okay? Oh, bundle up. I did hear it's supposed to snow, like, a lot. You know it, expect a snow selfie avalanche. But not a real avalanche, hopefully. Oh man, how did we watch seven hours of cookie bake-off shows? <sighs> I'm going to sleep. Sleep? Are you kidding? I'm too stoked about seeing my first snow tomorrow. Ooh, maybe I'll work on a winter-themed playlist. Ooh, idea! Tomorrow night, let's throw a total school takeover dance party! Awesome! I'm down to provide tunes! Try to get a little sleep. There's lots to do tomorrow. I'll try. But it's all the excitement <laughs> that's gonna keep me from sleeping! Jade's letting me do a full head cast on her for a creepy photo shoot. AKA, my dream day. Oh, uh, well, when you're done. I'd really love to get some pointers from a former childhood ice skating champion. I have no idea what you're saying, but I'm taking that as a yes. Oh, hey, Poppy, good morning! There you all are. You ready to bundle up and go outside? Soon, but we're kind of in the middle of this. I can't wait to have a party while everyone's away. You're all gonna see my special dance moves. The ones I can't do when school's in session, because they're too 
amazing. But what about outside? Skating, snow angels, the wintry works. Can you pretty please help us decorate now? And then we'll all go out when we're done. Fine, I guess that's fair. Over break is invited to our wintry next dance party. But for now, we're heading outside. Yes, finally! Mm. Oh, gotta get to work. I'll meet you all afterwards, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll drop off your skating outfit on our way outside. You've never skated on real, real ice before. Ah, I was not expecting real ice to be so icy and slippery. You'll get better with practice. I did it! A few more times and I'll be a pro. You guys ready to get hot cocoa at the Rainbow Union? Oh, yes, please. But we've only been outside half an hour. What about making snow woman? Or a snowball fight? Or sledding? There's only like an inch of snow. Not enough to do any of that. Yeah, our snow women would be so tiny. They'd be more like snow ants. But it's my first snow day. I didn't go home just so I could do winter stuff with you guys. I think we need a break to warm up, P. It's getting chilly out here. So you all just want to go inside? I'll come back to make snow ants later. Well, maybe by then there'll be enough snow to make snow puppies. But, um, I want some rainbow swirl cocoa to warm up first. Yeah, my hands feel like icicles. Well, you guys can go in without me then. I'm going to stay out here a little longer. You sure? So sure. See you later, Poppy. Bye, Save Poppy. Save snow for me. for tonight. Who knew everyone leaving for winter break would mean we could get the prefects to party with us? Hey! Hey, Real Jade! How's Plaster Jade? She's good. Marissa is giving her elf ears and a pointy nose. Gotta say, her and I are really on the same wavelength. Hey, guys! I'm off work and ready to go skate. Where's Poppy? <sighs> Still outside skating. Our beach girl has gone full snow bunny. You left her out on the ice alone? A beginner skater? Oh no. Oh wow, it's snowing a lot harder than it was before. Does anyone see Poppy? Help me! Hello? Is anyone there? I need help. I'm stuck! Are you okay? I'm so 
really cold. I am so glad you're here. Please help. Okay, I'm gonna come get you. Jade, be careful. <laughs> okay, Blade B, give me your hand. <laughs> got a plan C? We will. Uh, just hold tight. Yeah, we got you. Uh, I mean, um, we will. We will get you. Uh, come on, let's go get some supplies to save our girl. But we can't just leave Poppy out here alone. Uh, again. Plus, we need to call for help. Right. Good point. Violet, you call for backup. Sunny, stay, keep an eye on her, and keep her spirits up. Ruby, Sky, let's go. <laughs> Industrial strength cording. Nearly impossible to sew through. Hopefully impossible to tear. <laughs> That could work. Gotta get something pointy to stick into the ice. Like a uh, the hook or <gasps> call failed again! Where are my bars? I can't find a single one! Come on, service! Sunny, pass me your phone! No bars either! Come on! Okay, Bobby! We have to keep your mind off of your situation! Oh, how about a game? I'll try anything, as long as it's a game that requires zero moving. I know, I spy. I spy something light. Is it the snow? Yes, I'm sorry, I'm really stressed. It's all I can think about. Where is everybody already? Right, they've been gone forever. Or three minutes. Time really slows down in a crisis. You're back. Puppy, quick! Grab the ski! Uh, it doesn't reach! Jane, hand me both the skis! Try now! Uh, I got it! Uh, she's got it! She's got it! Uh, now just pull her to shore! on the ice alone in the first place. Yeah, that was so wrong of us. I'm so sorry. It'll never happen again. My scout counselor would take away all my team player patches for doing that. Please don't tell her. Thanks. I am so glad you came back when you did and put together a rescue plan so quick. I've used courting in a fashion emergency. Who knew it would come in handy during a real emergency? Right? From now on, I will take down anyone who says heels aren't practical. Agreed. But maybe we finish this convo inside. Poppy's teeth are chattering. We need to get her some rainbow swirl hot cocoa stat. Yes, please. But uh, maybe after that, we can come back outside for some more snowy fun? Um, are you sure? We could just take some warm selfies inside instead. Are you kidding? Getting some snow time with my friends? All I ever wanted for winter break. But maybe no more ice skating for now. Deal. We still have snow women and skiing and snow angels and sledding and you break it down, break, 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 break it down like this.
the snow was all I dreamed it would be. But now, I am wiped. I am freezing. I am hungry. Mm, I think I need a nap. I need a nap and a pizza. Oh, hey, everyone's here. Yeah. Maya! I thought you were going home for break. After Poppy told me she was staying here for her first snow day, I felt like I was missing out. And I watched the Violet live stream, and I knew I had to come back for friend time with all of you. Yay! So what did I miss? <laughs> so much. It would take all night just to tell the story of today. I want to hear it all. Maybe while we get ready for the amazing hallway dance party, Vi mentioned on the live stream. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot! T-minus one hour till empty hall dance party time! Woo! Party time! <laughs> and this next one goes out to my friends for making my first snow day more fun than I ever imagined! And saving me from becoming a popsicle, this one's for you! My glam! The Radiant Week theme gets announced today! I can't believe we only have a week to plan and build high concept art pieces. It will be next level, right, Bella? <laughs> I just hope the theme is fun and accessorizable. <laughs> is that a word? It is now, darling. <sighs> Bella, I heard the theme might be cringe or culottes. I heard it's rotten bananas. Isn't that Brill, Bella? So Brill. Earth to Bella. You okay? I'm fine. Hmm. Things are just a little off between me and Jade lately. I keep hoping we can work in the same Radiant Week group, but we haven't even had a chance to talk about it. I don't even know if that's how Radiant Week even works. Well, I'll cross my fingers to the Fashion Fates for you to work with Jade. It's time for the Radiant Week theme selection ceremony. Oh, I forgot to pack my special ceremony outfit. Oh, it's time! Oh, here we go. Oh, it's time! It's time! It's time. Welcome, Welcome to Radiant Week! Radiant Week is Rainbow High's cutting edge creative celebration. The sky is the limit. As long as you stay on theme, projects must transport visitors into a fantastical realm of out-of-the-box, show-stopping, innovative creation. In short, you must wow me. And the special surprise guest judge. This only happens every three years. So for most of you, this is your one and only chance to make Radiant Week history. Herstory. <laughs> Your team's reflection of the theme is crucial to a successful Radiant Week project. So, without further ado, the theme selection ceremony. Your fierceness. And this year's Radiant Week theme is Perspective. Ooh, such rich inspiration. For Radiant Week, you can choose your team or Choose to work alone. And with that, Radiant Week begins now. Jeffy, do you want to team up? Yes, let's do it. So I think I want to work solo. You good with that? Phew. <laughs> I was talking with Brianna about some animation stuff, and I was hoping to team up with her. Hey, fam. The music video went so well, we decided you can join us for this project, too. We could use more musicians for our project, if you're interested in joining us. Me! Jade, you'll be joining us, Avi. Thanks, but I'm 
planning. <gasps> Jack Dawson, Robin Sterling. Robin told me about your makeup skills. We'd love to have you. Whoa. Wow, I uh, was hoping to work with Belle, but uh, yeah, I'd love to work with you. Come, ladies. Our fortune's calling. Are you, like, uh, working with Jade? If not, you should work with me and G. <sighs> yeah, let's do it. Let's work together. Jade doesn't want to work on our masterpiece? Well, then forget her. Sorry, not sorry. Exactly. Hashtag thank you next. Uh, our fashion squad will crush this competition. Hey, can we talk about our groups? Talk about what? Your group seems all set. It's Jet Dawson and Robin Sterling and, and, and. They agreed you should join us too. Oh, they're gonna let me join? No thanks. I'm already part of a group that wants to work with me. You're passing up our chance to work together? I vouched for you. Sorry I didn't make the cut before your stamp of approval. That's not what I meant, I... And what concepts are you exploring? How fashion allows you to change your own perspective of yourself. So, we're thinking like one of those apps where you cut and paste outfits onto someone's image? Groundbreaking. Uh, but with a big twist of... something? An existing app means it's been done before. The point of Radiant Week is innovation. Think outside the box. Transcend the box. and nothing adds a new perspective. With so much creative freedom, I thought Radiant Week was gonna be a piece of cake. Hey, 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 what if everything was literally a piece of cake? Yikes, I feel like we need an army of mannequins to even start to fill this giant space. An army of them? Ugh, creepy. This reminds me of my time with the famed Acrobats of Toronto. And with this tech, we will definitely transcend. <laughs> if we don't, I won't be associated. Oh, these wires are fried. Don't stress, you code. I'll be right back. Oh. Hey, Jade. Um, uh, I should get back. Yeah, me too. Jade, wait. We need to talk. Jade, wait. We need to talk. Maybe we can hang while we work on our projects. Yeah, okay, that works. I wanted to say, I get why you teamed up with Robin and Jet. I don't get why you didn't want to join us. I worked with the people that I knew wanted to work with me. I did want to work with you. I just also want to work with Jet and Robin. When you sign up to work with your roommates that you see all the time, it made me feel like you don't have time for me anymore. I don't have time for anything. I just, I've been really busy. We're not working together. We never see each other. We never talk. We're supposed to be best friends and we basically haven't hung out since you got back. And dude, I don't even know how you got back. No one does. What about that thing I heard about how you stopped a heist and put out a fire and got a medal of honor for saving Rainbow High from an alien attack? Look, getting kicked out is not something I'm proud of. So when people ask questions about how I got back in, I just let them believe whatever story they want, even a crazy one about aliens. But 
If you want the real story, I'll tell you. Meet with your groups for pop-up mid-process evaluations by Ms. Wright. Beginning in two minutes. <sighs> to be continued later? Mm-hmm. Whoa, what happened here? Choosing a background for my authentic perspective project. I'm not sure I would call a green screen background authentic. It's just a placeholder. Trust the process. <laughs> well, everything is cake is a bust. Yeah, everything is burnt cake really lacks magic and flavor. We need a new out-of-the-box art form. <laughs> Amaya, are you okay? <laughs> what language is that? We were up first for our eval with Miss Fright. She said she doesn't know what our project has to do with the theme of perspectives. She, she hated it. Oh, she didn't hate it. She just told us to think bigger. So we will. Wait, bigger? That's it! Daphne, come on! We got some big work to do. Wow. <laughs> Those are the longest eyelashes I've ever seen. A bit formal for 8 a.m., though? Uh-huh. Yeah, it seems my eyelash strips are water, cleanser, and uh, tug proof. I gotta create some kind of heavy-duty remover thing. Maybe while you tell me a story? <sighs> when I was kicked out, I was heartbroken. I knew you were right, and I should have listened. In one dumb move, I gave up my dream of being at Rainbow High for the teeny tiny possibility of being chosen to intern for Ramona Barnes. I wasn't sure if I could fix it, but I had to try. So when my mom picked me up, I convinced her to take me to try and get my application back. Wait, wasn't your application emailed? <laughs> no. Ramona Barnes is old school. She wanted hard copies, sent in the mail with stamps and everything. Wow, vintage. The mail was already on its way. So we went all the way to NYC to try and get the envelope back straight from this Barnes. Whoa, you went all the way to her show on Broadway? Did it work? Barely. Then I overnighted it back to Rainbow High and left a very carefully worded voicemail asking Miss Wright to reconsider my expulsion. Just kidding. I called her every single day for a month, begging and begging her to reconsider. Like this ever again, I'll throw away my phone. It won't I? And then. And then. Attention! Report to your locations and teams for final run-throughs. Oh, come on! Again? We can be five minutes late, right? I repeat, drop what you're doing and get there. It's final run-through time. Uh, fine, we get it. Mm. I need more glitter! Another rewrite, River? What happened to Amprovising? What? You said you would send me those pics. Holly rejected another piece. Who does she think she is? Shh, shh, shh. Don't let her hear you. So you begged and pleaded for Miss Wright to let you back in, and then what? She agreed? <laughs> yeah, right. She said she would consider letting me back in, but wanted to make sure I experienced adequate consequences for my rule breaking. Ouch, that sounds intense. Yeah, community service for the whole term. And I polished the unicorn statue. Every weeknight, porn detail. That's a, a lot. But doing the work means I get to be back at Rainbow High, so it's worth it. Wow, thanks for telling me. And uh, now that I think about it, the unicorn has looked extra shiny lately. <laughs> I've, I've really, really missed, missed you. you. All right, all-nighters. Time to put those finishing touches on your projects. And maybe shower for the first time in a few days. Radiant Week begins in one hour. But for now, good luck. I mean, turn your color up.
Welcome to Rainbow High, Miss Barnes. in the bathroom. No big deal. I'm just missing the biggest event of the year! Vi starting her Radiant cast already? Before we officially begin, I'd like to introduce a very special guest judge of this year's Radiant Week, legendary Broadway designer, and a dear friend from our own days at Rainbow High, Ramona Barnes! <laughs> Miss Barnes and I will decide the category accolades, including one very special surprise prize. Ramona, will you do the honors? Let the radiance begin! At an elite school like Rainbow High, it can feel like our decisions are under a microscope. Our project embraces that and shifts perspective to put every tiny detail on display. Sometimes the things you see every day can inspire if you just look at them in a new way. Come and join us. <gasps> that is so cool. Interesting. I used similar technology for my interactive staging of Little Women just last year. for like half an hour. I can't believe no one's come in here yet. Don't people need to fix their makeup during Radiant Week? <sighs> Back by popular demand, our smash hit, a winter tale of two super beautiful enchantresses. And this time, the way we always intended it. Starring us in every role. So that was unreal. What does this have to do with perspective? <gasps> For our luxe spiderweb, we sourced a rare fabric from Indonesia. Delicate, but strong. Just like a spider's silk. Sometimes the pressures of school can make you feel like a fly trapped in a web. But shift your perspective. You can become the one spinning it. And the trap becomes a tool. Ahem. I, I do need help. I don't get it. They just made a normal room? What, it, what the? Welcome to our room. It may look three-dimensional, but it's entirely made up of custom art. Airbrushed in fine details to look hyper-realistic. Even that neon sign is painted. We decided to use forced perspective to make you question if you can trust your eyes or if truth itself is an illusion. Hmm. Inventive. But still what? I don't just hear music, I see it everywhere. We wanted to show what that's like from my perspective. So we made it possible to rock out using anything and everything. I just don't get it. How do you stay so positive all the time? I don't tell you often enough how much I admire you. All of you. Thank you for coming to this feelings and fashion meeting. As long as I have my friends, I don't need anything else. Is 
Isn't that right, Bella? Oh man, I gotta get out of here. Miss Wright, would you like to be our volunteer? Most mirrors just show your look from a single, flat perspective. Ours can show you, you, from all angles, so you know that your look will turn heads and open minds. As an influencer, I'm all about being authentic. But the time I've spent locked in this bathroom has given me the perspective to see the truth. I'm a fraud! I once posted a selfie with hashtag no filter, but I totally used a filter! My son kids trip to Cali? Background swaps! I never meant to lie to you! I did it for the lie! Wow. An impressively raw look from Miss Willow. Hello? Is someone there? Please, Miss Wright, I need a chance for a redo. My project was- Truly a change in perspective. I'd love to see it on the Broadway stage. Brava, Miss Willow. Brava. Thank you so much for this award for outstanding solo piece. And I would like to remind you that everything I said or did during my time in that bathroom was all part of the plan to, uh, help change your perspective of influencers. Up next is the award for most engaging show, which goes to Poppy Daria and Rainbow Dream. What? Thanks for the award. We'd give a speech, but we like the music to speak for itself. And for our final prize of the evening, one we're aptly calling the Hit the Road Award. This team's innovative technology gave us all a fresh perspective to see reality from new angles. Congratulations, Bella, Cheryl, and Gabriella for your all angles holographic move. Thank you, sir. And for that hit the road part, your team has been chosen to go work on a very special project at Rainbow High Sister School. Pacific Coast, in Malibu. Uh, Malibu? I hate them. 